Jason, 41, has been seen putting the SAS, Who Dare Wins recruits through their paces over the past five weeks on the Channel 4 show. The candidates have been faced with various challenges, testing both their physical and mental strength in some of the harshest conditions known to man. Alongside Chief Instructor Ant Middleton, 38, Jason has undergone the same challenges, having both been members of the Special Forces before becoming presenters on the show. Knowing what it takes for the right recruit to be crowned winner, Jason revealed who may just miss out on taking the win while appearing on this morning ahead of the final this weekend. The ITV show hosts Eamon Holmes, 59, and Ruth Langsford, 58, spoke to Jason about the final episode, which will see the recruits interrogated, bringing all their practice throughout the weeks into action. One of the clips shown from the final episode showed midwife Louise Gabitus, 29, undergoing the task and answering back to the interrogator. Speaking about Louise's attitude towards the member of staff, Jason said, you need people who are feisty but you need to know when to turn it on and off. Louise has become a favorite with fans of the show and Jason's comment could have possibly hinted she won't win the series because of her argumentative approach to the interrogator. However, Jason's remark could have completely innocent and Louise could still win the series, being the first female champion. For the first time this series, women have been allowed to sign up for the series in homage to women joining the special forces as of this year. Speaking about the decision to bring in female candidates, Jason revealed it was a no-brainer, we were well up for it. It was an obvious thing to do at the time. It was a natural thing to have happened for the show, Jason continued. When asked if he was surprised about how well the female recruits had done, with four making it to the final, Jason admitted it wasn't about gender. The battlefield doesn't choose gender over anything, he said. We knew they would do well. It's not about the women, it's about the individuals. Jason also spoke about his decision to join the Marines at the age of 16 and his own experience of being faced with the challenges. He said, I didn't do very well at school. Subconsciously I knew I needed to do something about it. My dad was in the Marines so that was a bit of an influence there. There's nothing they do that we wouldn't or have done ourselves. He continued, earlier today, finalist Vicky Ann Stewie, 40, revealed the one advantage she has over her fellow competitors. SAS, Who Dare Wins continues Sunday at 9pm on Channel 4.